hope you stay tuned to see all the travel props that I have available that I have found very useful while teaching anything that has to do with travel. Alright, let's get started. Alright, the first thing that I really like, and I try to make it real for my students, is a passport. So all I did was I scanned it and then my the cover of my passport and I just laminated it. Um, actually, this is not laminated. I actually used that big, thick uh, strapping tape to just so that I can constantly be lifting it up and using it. So that's an idea. And then I have a ticket. Yes, make it a ticket if you've traveled anywhere on a plane, any kind of bus. Make it real. Give them something that really looks real. I know that they draw things on the PPT slides, but sometimes it's just not the same. So if you could go, and don't forget to get your ticket. <coughs> they really like that. So I got this uh, on a trip that I took. All right, so they have their passport, they have their ticket, but of course, you could use a paper airplane. I happen to have this very inexpensive little plane that I got from Oriental Trading Company. I got a bunch of them, but um, this is something you can find maybe at the Dollar Tree, and you don't need to use this. You could actually make a paper airplane. That would be fun. And so I also have a paper airplane. But now, I'll tell them, I'll use either the globe. It's always great to have a globe. And I, some, I know sometimes it really gets crowded to have all these props. You don't have to have a globe. I like the globe because it just seems more effective, you know, when I tell them, okay, you live in China. You have to fly all around the world, halfway around the world to get to America. So that is just a, a cool idea for a travel prop. All right. And then if you don't have a globe, you can find these great little placemats. One side is America. One side is uh, the world. You could use this uh, when you travel. You can discuss how to across uh, the different oceans and and then um, you can actually I, I sometimes even use my plane to go from Asia and then I'll tell them oh we have to fly let me turn this plane around <laughs> we have to fly from Asia all the way to America so it's more impacting you know visually for them to see the distance that it would take for them to fly Okay, so we have different maps. We use the globe. We use this uh, flat map. I also have a map of China that I just uh, scanned off the internet and I laminated it. So this is something when I ask them, where do you live? And I can just, I, I to be honest, I, I don't take the time to read everyone, but I'll like, oh, you live in, wow. Hidden? Oh, cool. So I just, you know, it makes it to them that you're interested in where they live. All right, so you could use that. So you could say, oh, you're flying from Henan, China, to, and then you can point to your, your map, to America. Where in America? Oh, you are going to New York? Wow. So these are a few uh, types of things that you can use as props for travel. I like this little one that I got about a pirate. It's a little pirate treasure hunt game. It says Shipwreck Beach. <coughs> but I like it for several reasons. I like it because it has a compass rose. So you can explain a compass rose to them north, south, east, and west. And some of you might have a real compass. You could show it as a prop. So that'd be a great idea. But this is a cool one also just to bring out and explain what is a compass rose. Are you going north? Are you going south? So this is something really cool. 
something that you might have in your home already is a map. You might have some maps. So you could just demonstrate showing them different maps. And you don't really have to have this whole thing. You might just want to just cut out a little bit and then do the same thing, laminate it, and then you solve it up. It, it makes that visual prop just pop and make it real for them. And so I have another one, let's say destinations. And this one is so cool because it has ships and uh, different things that they could uh, ride on. I really like to use this one because I tried to ask them, okay, so how are you going to get there? You're going to fly there. Well, what are you going to do when you get there? What are you going to have to ride on? And so you could tell them, are you going to ride in a taxi? In a taxi? So you could have little cars. Um, it just, you know, you bring it out to them and oh my gosh, it, it comes to them. It, it just makes it so much more fun. But in traveling, remember, everything takes money. <laughs> yes. So I got these cute little erasers. They're money erasers. I actually bought these at the learning store. And they come in handy when I have to explain uh, money. But I also, uh, let me check in here. I have, I don't, there it is. I have an old debit card. I have an old debit card and I'll just show it to them. I won't show them all the numbers or whatever. But this is already outdated. <coughs> but it makes it also real because they can see the visa, they understand. This is a credit card. This is a debit card. So with that said, I think just having real objects, um, for example, the, the credit card, the passport, the ticket, just really makes their travel adventure fun and exciting for them. So I hope these props have helped you to think of what can I find around the house? You know, we have a lot of stuff around the house that you don't have to go buy. You just have them lying around somewhere or in a file cabinet or something. Just go check it out. Bye.